Today, I'll compare the Nike Mercurial Superfly 5 to little brother Mercurial Vapor 11 to see how big the differences actually are, which is the better boot and hopefully help you decide on which one of these two to get. So make sure you're subscribed and let's find out. While both boots are impressively soft from the get-go, the biggest difference is the upper material. And here the Vapor is a little softer and thinner than the Superfly and it takes less time to really break in. Whereas the Flynet material on the other hand is a bit more solid and structured than in the Vapor. And that means of course that it's less good from a comfort perspective, but it also gives you better stability in the Vapor, so there is a little bit to choose from already here. The fit itself is also very different because of the cut. Now both boots offer you a super close and tongueless sensation, but the Superfly with the dynamic fit color gives you a more sock-like and connected feel where you're completely aware that there's something around your ankle. Now the Vapor on the other hand just feels more traditional, but it is lighter which makes me feel a little more on my toes, ballerina style, than in the Superfly. On the ball, both boots offer you a precise touch with a decent amount of grip. But again, the Vapor is a little thinner and closer to the ball, whereas the Superfly has an extra bit of padding and weight to it. And that's also evident when you shoot, where the Superfly is close to your foot all over the place. So it gives it a bit of an uninterrupted feel, and frankly, it makes me want to put my foot through the ball just a little bit more. Looking at the sole plate, the Vapor and the Superfly are identical. They both have the very same anatomical plate with bladed studs. That is, in my opinion, the best sole plate out there for aggressive traction. And the deal with this anatomical plate is that it lets your foot sink in to really lock it down. And it works well on both, but there is a little bit more of a solid lockdown in the Superfly because it has the Flywire cables. And the Vapor? Well, it doesn't. Let's look at the facts for Superfly 5. It weighs 191 grams, and the fit is tight, soft, and sock-like. The striking is pingy and satisfying, with a grippy, distractionless, and close touch. The sole plate is anatomical with bladed studs, but the sock is a little too high. It costs 290 euros, and is fast, strapped in, and feels like an extension of the foot. The Vapor 11 weighs 167 grams and gives you a narrow, close and accommodating fit. The striking is clean, close and pingy and has a very barefoot-like touch with good grip. It also has an anatomical plate with bladed studs, but doesn't offer much protection. It costs 220 euros, makes you feel fast and is amazing if you love to dribble. In the end, it depends on how free and close to the ball you want to be. Do you want the sock-like, solid and better lockdown from the Superfly, or the softer, lighter and more nimble Vapor? Me? I'd go with the Vapor. But let me know which boot you choose right down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the green bubble right up there, and reward me with a like if you had a good time. I mean, who wouldn't, looking at materials? But guys, with those words, I'm gonna leave you. I'm signing off. Cheerio.